I'm Rick Stamper. I'm the Provost and Vice President of Academic Affairs here at Rose Holman. Our faculty are engaged with the students in meaningful ways and also providing hands-on experiences to the students here on campus. In our department of physics and optical engineering, we have several setups like a clean room to which students even at uh, the freshman level have access to. We've got a whole center, the BIC, the Brandon Innovation Center, where you'll see day and night there'll be teams working on things. We have various vehicles, we have concrete canoe, we have robotics. Ultimately, to be prepared for the workforce, you really need to be able to have some hands-on experience as an engineer and a scientist, and so we've got the facilities to make that happen. I know at other schools, you might have a class that it would just be a lecture with the hundreds of people, and I don't think I'd be able to learn that way, and that's definitely not how it works at Rose. Usually for freshman and sophomore, it's around uh, somewhere in the low to mid-20s, and so students really have a lot of opportunity to come find their professors, not just in class to ask questions, but outside of class, we're always really available. Students feel really free to come by and work with faculty as they're struggling through material. It's a comfortable relationship and I don't feel like I'm intimidated to not go and ask my professor questions when I'm stuck. It just feels really welcoming and I really love that. My physics professor said, although this is the end of our last meeting for this class, but our relationship doesn't really end here. If you have any question, you can like come to me. That doesn't have to be academically related, just anything in general, you can come to me and ask. First day of class, one of my classes, my professor was like, here's my phone number, here's my email, please text me if you have any questions. And I'm like, okay, cool. So I, I text him a couple of times back and forth and now he's my advisor. Students that are coming here could expect to work really hard and also know that the faculty who are here will work hard for them. Here it's like, Everyone's close-knit. You can legitimately walk up to somebody and be like, hey, can you help me with something? You're not going to be dragged down in this school. You're going to be helped by a large community of people. That's what the rigor of Rose Coleman's academics is, is to make sure that you are the best that you can be in your field because of the amount of knowledge that they want to give you. I see students fail in places where they feel they will succeed. It is okay. This is an integral part of learning if we were never challenged, if we were never put in situations where we have to struggle, we would not become the best versions of ourselves. That is exactly what Rose is. It's hard work, it's dedication, it's being who you are to the highest potential that you can be. Rose Holman is math, science, and engineering, but it's also a college that touches upon other aspects like history and technical communication. I'm taking like English classes and art classes along with my major specific classes. It helps provide a well-rounded education. And we also really emphasize classes in technical communication because there's not really much point in being able to build something if you can't describe what it is. And so more and more these days, the uh, communication part is more and more essential. Even though Rose is mostly STEM, there are a lot of interesting other topics that Rose teaches to help students engage their other passions. My core beliefs about Rose Holman are that we change lives and the things that we teach change society and make society better. People emerge here able to do things they weren't able to do beforehand and the things that they can do can be deployed to change the world and make the place better.